Hello, I'm Pamela Meredith, a senior curator at TD Bank. And we're standing here in the TD Gallery of Inuit Art. And you're standing in the TD Gallery at the Toronto Reference Library. Both galleries right now are filled with work inspired by, made in, uh, the Arctic. So Magnetic North brings together two collections, uh, the Toronto Library's special collections, and TD's collection of Inuit art and TD's collection of contemporary Canadian art. And maybe we'll start with a little background. Uh, so in this gallery, uh, we have work uh, from the Arctic uh, that was brought together to celebrate Canada's centennial. Uh, in 1967. So all of the banks had centennial projects and uh, the chairman of TD at the time, Alan Lambert, had spent time in the Arctic and really come to respect the place and the people and the art that he saw there. Uh, and so a group of consultants amassed a collection of approximately a thousand pieces, most of them carvings, uh, and most of them live here now in downtown Toronto in the gallery, which is uh, open and free to the public, uh, like the Toronto Library Gallery. So when we started thinking about this exhibition, um, the Toronto Library has an amazing collection of Arctic material, books, journals, maps. Um, so it seemed like sort of an interesting collaboration to bring together these uh, two collections. So the idea of Magnetic North was really to explore um, the enduring pull to represent um, this place, this um, remote place, isolated, um, beautiful, dangerous, um, endangered, all of those um, things. And so we started uh, together with um, the library looking at the Arctic materials um, looking at journals with really interesting um, illustrations. Uh, we've roughly um, grouped the works into four categories. So we have landscape, which is, you know, a huge uh, theme. Um, wildlife, uh, another sort of enduring uh, theme in a lot of the work. People, portraiture, and daily life, the rituals um, in the north. I think there, there will be some really amazing surprises in the show, um, both in the historical work and in the contemporary work. Um, I think, you know, we've come to expect certain kinds of imagery. Um, we think we know what Inuit art is. It, you know, has a, a, a look and feel. Um, but for example, uh, in one of the sculptural works in the show, um, Young Man with MP3, it's the beautiful carving in stone, um, but the man is holding um, an iPod uh, and is wearing baggy jeans. So he, he's a real sort of favorite um, for a lot of viewers because he does blend the, the old and the new um, in such an interesting, beautiful way. I think one of the most interesting pairings is between the oldest um, piece, uh, the oldest work of art in the show. It's a map, a Mercator map of the Arctic Circle um, from the late, uh, well, 1595. And it's a real blend of uh, mythology and truth and fact and imagination. And so paired with it, we have a work by Shuvanaya Shuna, a contemporary artist who's working in Cape Dorset. One of my favorite pieces in the show um, from the Toronto Library Collection is the journal of Samuel Smith, who was the surgeon aboard a ship um, traveling in the Arctic in 1857. And we've selected a couple of pages uh, for the exhibition, beautiful, exquisite little watercolors um, of the landscape. But what's great is that the Toronto Public Library has the entire journal um, provided digitally on the internet. So you can actually read his daily um, experience of being in the Arctic. I encourage everybody to come and see this show. Think about the Arctic. Think about the North. Um, maybe it will inspire you to visit there someday. Um, but I hope you enjoy the show.